I just finished doing some footage of my Quicksilver GT400 with the four GoPros for my YouTube channel that I've been trying to get done for the last few months in between weather and work. And Peter, one of the gyro pilots at our airport, asked me if I wanted to go for a run down to the beaches, which is a trip I've done many times with the Quicksilvers, but I thought it'd be nice to be a passenger for a change. So I grabbed my GoPro 7 and a hand bracket that I'd made for just such an occasion, and off we went. We'll be taking off from Walls Air Airstrip on 03. We'll climb to about 1500 feet over Hexham Swamps and then do a starboard turn and head for the coast. For those of you who don't know Newcastle, I'll give you a brief commentary of what we are flying over. Newcastle is a thriving multicultural city of over half a million people and has been a major industrial city in the past. But since BHP closed in 1999, the city is a cleaner environment with a range of non-polluting industries growing the Hunter economy. Up until about 30 years ago, this foreshore was a working port and railway workyards. The working ports are just as busy, but they are further up the river now, away from the CBD. Forsha is now a thriving metropolis of offices and million dollar apartments, and car parking headaches. Just below us is the site of the V8 Supercars race that is held here every year around the foreshore and the beaches. Below us is Nobby's Headland, the entrance to the port of Newcastle.
you look closely, you'll see a couple of dolphins playing down there on the beach. On the right we have Fort Scratchley that fired shots in anger during World War II and still works to this day. Ocean Baths and Newcastle Beach coming up. The green colour of the water is not algae. It is just the yellow sand mixing with the colour of the blue water. We have nice clean beaches here. We have dropped in altitude to show you the amazing Anzac walk that was opened a few years ago and is a big tourist attraction, especially around whale migrating season. On the right is Merriweather Beach, which is the home of Surfest and has spawned many surfing champions including four times world champion Mark Richards. Later on today, the Newcastle Cup, which is a World Surf League event, will be running their heats for the top surfers from all around the world. The Bells Beach event was cancelled this year due to COVID, so it was moved to Newcastle. We were just coming past Newcastle Beach and we heard a radio call from the drone operator doing the shark patrol on Nobby's Beach. So we decided to get a bit of altitude to keep out of his way.
you can see the big difference in colour between the ocean and the port. No, that's not pollution. We had a heavy week of rain and storms, so we get a lot of runoff from the Hunter Valley farms coming down the Hunter River to the sea. Coming up to the working port you can see Stockton Beach stretching off in the distance which is an amazing 32 kilometres long. Just below us is the coal washery for certain grades of coal for export. And the green section ahead is where BHP Steelworks once stood for 84 years. At its peak, it employed over 13,000 people. Newcastle has always been known as the Steel City, but the closing of the Steelworks has not hurt the economy. On the right are the five coal loaders that are continually filling ships from far and wide. There is usually a queue of 10 ships or more waiting to get into the port. Newcastle is by far the largest exporter of quality coal in the world. We have come from the coast at around 1500 feet and down below you can see the Walls Air airstrip where we are heading back to. Peter is going to perform a hover glide approach which all of the gyro guys practice quite regularly. See you on the ground. Thanks for flying Gyro Air and thanks for taking the scenic trip around the Newcastle beaches with us. And if we get a good response we might do some more of these. So subscribe to the channel and we'll keep you posted. For those of you who have subscribed to this channel, I should have the GD400 chapter ready to go next week. 
So see you in the next video.